Roast has 13 1. Uh, let's take a look at the 13 1. Alright, Gunthorian. Let's. Dude, he got a pentakill! How can I roast him if he gets a pentakill, dude? He has a 19 KDA! Gunthorian! What the heck, dude? <laughs> How can I roast his. Alright, let's see. Dude, he got a pentakill versus fucking Malphite team. <laughs> like, Malphite Morgana and Yasuo. This dude had, like, 300 CS at 30 minutes, too, so CS was good. And he got a pentakill. He hard carried this. And silver. Feels good, man. Like, I, like I, I'd roast him for Egon Thorian, but uh, I don't think there's much to even roast. Like, he had an 11,000 gold lead over his fucking lane opponent by himself. <laughs> an 11 <laughs> That's actually insane. The roast must go on. Alright, so he went Ignite, he went Flash, and he went Fervor. And he didn't go Black Cleaver. Maybe he didn't know how Black Cleaver worked on this patch, so he did uh, Stack Shiv and Twitch. You're building Black Cleaver last? That's probably not good. Honestly, if it's like endgame, don't build Black Cleaver last. It's better to go like Last Whisper. Like if they have armor. Or in this game, honestly, you could have gone, gone Triforce. Yeah, Last Whisper is better by 6 item for the instant damage. It's true. Black Cleaver is better in the mid game when they don't have a bunch of stacked armor. So let me do this. Let me get rid of the timeline. That way we don't give away anything. So time control is gone. And that should be good. Alright, so it's Trindamir versus Malphite. It's Shaco versus Graves. Rise versus Yasuo. Vayne versus MF. Soraka versus Morgana. So anytime you're against a Shaco, I would go up and ward here. You need to know where Shaco starts. It's really important whenever you're against a Shaco jungle that you go and check where he starts in case Shaco just like a red to, you know, top cheese and like level 2 ganks you. You need to know that that's a possibility. So I would go ahead and ward the red buff. Or have your team go up and ward blue. Like, you need to fuck up with Shaco. You can't just, you know, give him, give it, like, the fast clear for free. Or, all, or you know, that's where Shaco is really strong. So, regardless, let's go ahead and put Fog of War on blue. And we're watching Barbar Bar King. He, uh, his name is Azhunt in, in Twitch chat. Go ahead and see this. The yeah, Gunthorian's trying to like BM ass hunt. He's not even responding. Feels bad, man. So. If Malphite ever starts Q. You need to build up a little bit of fury and just all in him. Why did you spin away here? Like, what? Okay. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Like, this Malphite started Q? That should be like... you're In your head, you gotta be like, This guy's an idiot? I need to kill this guy for being an idiot. I need to punish him. Like, anytime a Malphite starts W or starts Q instead of the attack speed slow, you just need to kill him. Because Malphite's early game is actually really... Like, piss poor. So, like, I don't like this spin. Just, like, if he walks up and attacks you in your minion wave, use your minions to out-trade him. His Q did tons of damage. He has 4 AP, dude. <laughs> Alright, whatever. He has 4 AP. I think you're fun. The 4 AP Malphite Q is gonna, like, shred you. Look, he's gonna run out of- yeah. There you go. That's my boy. Yeah. 
Now, really good trade. Let me let me go back. I think you could have killed him here. I'll show you why. So your E's on a five second cooldown, right? If he walks up right here, flash on him. Your E is on it's in between two and three seconds right now. If you flash and you crit, you get an instant spin. And with your eight stacks of fervor, that's an insta kill. And you can ignite to finish off. If you get a crit, like flash him right here, it'll force him to flash. If you get a crit, you kill him. Yeah, flash right here. Like walk up, flash behind him so you creep walk him. If you get the crit, you kill him. If not, then he burns flash, and then, like, it's a flash for flash trade. And then you could potentially kill him in, like, two seconds. I think you missed out on a kill here. Because this guy had 213 health, and your crit will do, like, 160 damage to him. Because you started flask. And then you have ignite to finish him off. Or you can spin if you get the crit. Either way, I think you should have died. I think you should have killed him there. But, I mean, based on how this guy's playing, I think I think you'll be fine. Don't waste your spin for CS. If if you're level 2 and he's level 1, you need to save your spin so you can pressure him. Like, he's going to go for this minion. You need to have your spin to just go on him and kill him. Because you didn't have your spin there, you missed out on about 300 damage. It's really important to save your spin early on. Again, like, don't use your spin for CS against, like, Poppy and Malphite. Because you need to kill them early. But, I mean, this guy's out of mana already, so... So, what I would do, I would just shove this in. Actually, you know what? I bet Shaco's about to gank up. Alright, you just saw Shaco mid, so I would push this in. So let's go back. Let's see when we saw Shaco. So your ultimate goal right here would be to push this wave in so that the wave resets. Right now, you're really overextended. Shaco has all this room to gank you. And around 250 is when he's going to have his bot side cleared and it's going to be top, potentially. So, I would focus on auto-attacking these creeps and trying to push in as quickly as possible. The Malphite, he's not going to die. He's too high HP now, and it's a cannon minion wave. Like, you'd get shredded. So, I I just push this in before this wave comes up. So, this wave's right here. You need to push up and hit the turret before, like, make the wave hit the turret before this wave gets past here. Yeah, if Malphite plays like this guy does... He's going to run Oom. So, I think it's a mistake you're making by not shoving this guy in right now. By staying this extra wave without having the wave reset, first of all... You can't get these ranged minions because your melee minions are dead. And if you walk up and last hit these ranged minions, you'll take a turret shot. So this wave's in a really bad place. You need to have a little bit better wave management. This is silver, uh, Devil uh, Grun 1. This is silver. That ward against Shaco does nothing. Also, most junglers will take the plant and just run up here. So, like, these, this ward in Season 7 doesn't do anything because this plant exists. Also, Shaco can even lane gank with his Q. I would dive him. He was trying to freeze the wave 
so that he had to stay an extra wave, you should punish this because you're level 4, he's level 3, and he's out of pots. You could just dive him. Auto, auto, spin. Dead. If he flashes, you flash onto him, you kill him. Even if you die on the dive, he's going to miss all these minions. And it's worth. Dive him. That's my blank. The flash wasn't necessary, but it's okay. Push this next wave in. Like, you're low, yes, but you have spin to get away from Shaco. Also, Shaco showed mid again. So you could have gone and pushed this wave in. Because what would happen? Because you have more minions than him, and these minions are already kind of low, you're going to lose, like, about a half wave CS, maybe almost a full wave. He's got... Yeah, rip. Thunderlord's trend? Not very good. Yeah, so, the, you miss the melee minion, and you're gonna miss at least these two range minions overall. You're gonna miss, like, four minions, when you could've re just reset the wave. Alright, so you got Vamp Scepter, Dagger, Control Ward. If you're gonna, if you're gonna buy a Control Ward against Shaco, you need to push Malphite in and put the Control Ward over here. Because honestly, it does nothing. Because the control ward doesn't reveal Shaco if he's invisible. Not anymore. Best lifesteal item for Trinmere is Blatheron King. But situationally, uh, Death Dance and... Uh, Gunblade can be good. Shaco keeps ganking mid over and over again. I don't know why, but I feel bad for Ryze. If he walks to go ward, try to, like what I can do. Because you have Vamp Scepter and because you have a sustain advantage, try to hold this wave. This is an option you can do. That way you can pressure him. And to thinking that a jungler might be coming because you like walk forward at him and like a big creep wave. Like, even if you take a bad trade here, because you're tanking all the minions, if you can tank it until this wave comes, it's gonna be worth. Or you can let this push in you and just farm the wave. And that's safer. But usually when I get a lead like this against a tank, I want to pressure as much as possible. But either way, it's it's okay. Wow, he'd even go ward. Alright, that's a good kill. What Gonthorian is talking about walking the wave toward the wall is walking the wave over towards this wall. That we take as little creep damage as possible while still holding the wave. Yeah, Devil Grim, that is a classic build. But uh, I, I prefer the CDR build over anything else. It's just... This guy keeps queuing. This guy's maxing Q instead of a Z. I mean, I don't, I don't know. This Malphite. Like, he's playing a brain dead champion incorrectly. That's, uh, unfortunate for him. Maybe that's why he's in silver. Would you change up the build since I took Thunderlords? Uh, you can maybe, 
Like, if you're against a squishy, then you can go, like, lethality. Since he attack speed's not as good, because, uh, you don't have fervor. Got his flash. That's fine. Perfect. So, what you can do, slow push the wave. Get the next wave push in turret and dive this guy. This guy's maxing Q for whatever reason. But yeah. I don't like how you w did this dive. Let me show you why. First of all, you should be you should notice that he's maxing Q because of how much damage the Q's doing. So, let's go back. So, you got the good trade, got his flash. Don't all in commit here. First of all, he just uses E on you. Second of all, uh, you're using your spin before you get into turret range, before you take aggro. So he can cut you pretty well around the turret. I would push in this next wave before you dive. Because this is really risky. Yeah, like, if he plays it well, he can cut you here. Yep, that's what I thought would happen. Because you took the dive before you pushed the wave into turret, you weren't able... Well, you still might be able to kill him, because you level, you level 6, but... Like, honestly, you need to push this next wave into turret. I think you... You jumped the gun a little bit. Damn. I... That's really unfortunate. So, you... you you were playing it safe, and, you know, in case Shaco came top, that's fine, but, dang. Because of that mistake, you're going to let this Malphite stand. You could have absolutely destroyed this Malphite if you made him lose this wave. Alright, cool. Alright, we're back at it. So, you fucked up, and you didn't get the kill. You, you dove too early, you got too antsy. Let's get rid of these time controls again. Okay, so what you should do... Moffi had no mana, no health, and he has no TP. Freeze this wave. Make him blue CS. Moffi didn't push it in in time because he had no mana to push, so... Freeze it. Perfect, you're freezing. Good job. Freezing the wave, freezing the wave. So Malphite missed like a wave and a half there. Maybe even two waves, I wasn't counting. Let him push it in. Let him push it in. Like, instead of using your pot right there, let him push it in and heal under turret. That way you can hold on to your refillable potions for later when you're pressuring. Wait, this, Mal this Malphite is going AP. He's going, like, Roa. Yeah, just Mal- Mal- well, honestly, Malphite's E also scales with AP, I think. And his R. <laughs> Alright, Asan, 
I just took a look at your items. You have a shard and a brawler's glove. I think you could have just gone zeal, right? What's this? 750 plus 400? Oh, maybe not. I think it's better to get a brawler's glove and double dagger rather than getting the full shard. The Ker Kerchis shard. I think that's how you say it. But yeah, it's better to get brawler glove and double dagger than finishing the shard. No, this is s -hun. What? Nice ult. Alright, let's go back over that. Don't ignite unless you're like already on him or if the ignite's gonna kill him your ignite was so random actually i guess you ignited right as he leveled up so his catalyst wait it doesn't even work like that anymore never mind don't flash right here you don't have enough damage and don't ignite honestly you're too eager to fight, I think. You need to remember that as Trinmir versus Malphite, Trinmir has a huge sustain advantage. Whereas Malphite, he wants to kind of all in before he gets out sustained by Trinmir. In an all in, Malphite will win, but over time, Trinmir will win. So, this is something you need to keep in mind. Let me go back to the Fog of War thing. So yeah. So all that was uh, pretty bad. Like if if you had just stayed like made the lane stay like this, and he was running Oom, he wouldn't be able to do anything to you once you sustained back up. But you were you committed too early before your high enough HP. At least you ulted correctly, so that you didn't just die. So, your lane's kind of fucked. Like, even though he has no mana, like, his auto attacks could kill you. Just let this push in and see us under turret. You need to push this in. You, like, you can, remember, with Trinmir, you can check the bushes with your W. If your W lights up, that means someone is within that circle of the W, which means a champion is nearby. So you can use that trick to check these bushes so you don't even have to walk in. So you could have walked on this line instead of on this line to go through his bushes. Yeah, I'm surprised Shaka hasn't ganked you. Let's see what your gold. Yeah, 1300. Alright, you almost got a uh, stack shift. Alright, that's fine. That's goodbye. She's got Zeal, Shard, Vamp Scepter, Boots. As I think what you should do is try to hard shove. Wait, he's getting GLP? That's weird. Typically, if the lane is pushing towards you, and the Malphite's playing like this, you need to expect that jungler is nearby. And since your jungler just ganked bot, and and their jungler isn't there, you need to uh, be careful. 
I mean, honestly... That sucks. Yeah, that's just, like, that play right there is something that I can't teach you from watch like from watching your VOD and telling you what to do. It's something that you have to by yourself you need to just grasp and understand that your team just committed resources bottom and their team didn't commit the same resources resources so the resources they have could be used against you top lane. So you need to keep that in mind like this could have been avoided. But it's something I can't teach you from a VOD review. It can only be, ta be taught through game experience. And playing against these NA junglers enough. I like your targeting that fight. So you want to kill Shaco before his Q comes back up, and the Yasuo was already dead. The Vayne was already auto-attacking him. That was really good. Blue team's turret has been destroyed. <laughs> Feels cannon, man. Dude, feels good. Dude, your Graves called to give you Rift Herald. There aren't enough of those kind of junglers in higher elo. They're all greedy. They only think of themselves. Yeah, I'm doing a coaching session for S Hunt. He donated $20 for it, so... Gonna help him out. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing some more games after a spot. That looked so funny, by the way. He just. The Malphite fucking threw ice at you. I think you're igniting way too early. In my opinion. Use your ignite when you're ready to execute them, not like at the beginning of the fight. Especially like a, a tank like Malphite, who you're not gonna be able to just kill straight up. Like they're gonna, you're gonna need to whittle them down. Yeah, feels bad. Yeah, ignite doesn't give you five AP and AD anymore, so you can't be using it like that. Well, I wanted, like, there's no dragon right here. And the top lane is pushing towards him. You need to push this out. I'm not sure why you're down here. Your team has no CC. The only CC your team has is, like, Rise W. So you're not really going to be making picks on their team. So there's no reason for you to go down here. You still need to scale. It's only 16 minutes, and you only have 95 CS. I would keep going top, man. Like, honestly, against that, that Malphi build, you should be crushing him. But you know what? Fuck his wolves. Is that how it works? 
Do you just like walk around the map and get kills? I guess that's good. The lane's pushing to you, so I get this is fine. Since you made the rotation already, it's fine to keep going here. Because the lane's pushing back to you. I thought it was pushing to him, but it's actually pushing to you. So push this next wave out, and then you need to go top. Okay. You can go top now, too. You could have, if you wanted, pushed one more wave before going top. Because it would have still had to go through this cannon wave. But this is fine. Feels good, man. Dude, I love in through like range minions like that. Yeah, we don't, I cancel a lot of auto attacks too. So my fight TP top. <coughs> Red buffs up, feels good. The dragon's up, that's a mountain. How close to Bork is he? Is he going Bork second? Honestly, you need to go Black Cleaver second against my fight, man. Black Cleaver is a really big spike against Mob Fight. Feels good. Yeah, I think you should go Black Cleaver second. But honestly, it's a matter of preference. I mean, the guy really isn't building too much armor. So... Yeah. Honestly, I would've built Black Cleaver here, but that's personal preference. If you want, you can go like Phantom Dancer and IE as well. Barbar King mad Barbar King smash, yeah. Dude, Barbar King is the uh the Yeah, he seems kinda smart in my opinion. Perfect. Really nice use of your W. You waited until you were sure that his back would be turned before you W'd. So, I like that. I see a lot of people use W too, too early. Alright, let's see where you go. So, honestly, you have Rift Herald. And it's past 20 minutes. If you wanted to, you could go push bot. Your wave's all the way up here, and Malphite doesn't push too quickly. So, you can call for a team to just three-man bot lane. And Malphite doesn't have TP, either, so... Your 1v1 versus an exhaust GP? Uh, I mean, Trendmere wins first game playing, so... I mean, he doesn't have flash, so you guys could kill him too. That's fine. I mean, he could just ult away if he wanted to. Yeah. I mean, what's a, what's a counter play in that?
dude, Malphite using the GOP looks so funny. He fucking just throws ice at you. Uh, see, let's see the GLP. So, he like walked up, he stood still, and he's fucking just like left clicking on his GLP. And he just, <laughs> he throws ice at you. <laughs> alright, alright, enough of that. <laughs> like, he had to think about using the fucking item. <laughs> He like sit there and stab for a second, think about using the GLP. Alright. Yeah, hey man, just start splitting bot lane. So take Raptors. Uh you can even take Krugs. Yeah, take Krugs and then start splitting bot. You beat Malphite with that build. That is such a terrible build. Like, you can all in him with that build. Like, no one can stop you 1v1 right now. You just, you're two levels above everybody on their team. You guys keep going. Honestly, just tell your team to start pushing mid and keep pushing. And if they start to, like, chase you, run into their base and, you know, just do Trinmere things while your team pushes mid. Like, if they're going to 5-man you like this, honestly, you can kill them all. Yeah, so dead. Feels good. Baron, Baron, Baron. Get Baron right now. Baron is much better than getting an inhib. Baron gives you so much more experience and gold. And then you can use the Baron to get these objectives later. But honestly, uh, just get the Baron. They're all dead, except Misfortune. And she didn't even have ultimate. You need to be calling this Baron right now. Graves needs to stop going for a fucking mountain and taking this Baron. Like, you guys are all, like, really healthy, too. And you have a Vayne and a Soraka. You need you need to get Baron right here. There, hey, uh, that's my. I know that's your ping. I I can't see your ping. Like I can't, I can't tell if that's your ping. But I really hope that's your ping. You're the first one that turned to Baron. But honestly, you should ping Baron as soon as you killed you know the people over here. Feels bad, your team just wants to push. Like, the call to Baron is pretty late. To be honest. You should have done Baron instantly. But yeah, even before this turret, you should have just gone straight to Baron. You should have been ping on the way, on the way, on the way, on the way. Over and over again. Spam that. But yeah, you guys didn't even get in him. Like, that was a free Baron. This is why, in low elo, people don't know how to end games. People don't know how to end games, it's sad. You were pinging it? I saw. You you pinged it after the, uh, the second turret. Maybe you pinged it before? I didn't see. But, uh, yeah. You see Yasuo, so you back up. That's fine. You need to go by. I think you're sitting on... Yeah, you're sitting on 3600. 
Hey guys, if you ever have 3600 gold, buy Infinity Edge. Just buy Infinity Edge straight up. It's the largest power spike in the game. Let's see if he buys the IE. Sell that, buy an that's Fuck yes, dude. You bought the Infinity Edge, you're listening. Feels good, man. Infinity Edge is 3600. Your price is outdated. Hey Demir, uh, Gunthorian wanted a link to your uh, your jungling guide. By the way, did the GLP really kill Pain? Well, unfortunate. Dude, that Graves is in there. Well, you can get the, uh, inhib. <clears throat> Perfect. Really well played. This is, this is SM from Twitch chat. He donated $20 to, for me to coach him. Wait, you're popping off. Never mind, you're not popping off. Did he use the Bork active in that fight? I didn't check. This is good. You need to split. It's fine. Honestly, your team should be bot lane. I don't know why they're grouping up with you, but honestly, you're so strong, and they're not itemizing against you at all. Like, they don't really have any armor on their team. Like, Malphite doesn't even have ninja tabbies at 30 minutes against a Trindomir. Like, it makes no sense. Yeah, you're like two shotting people. The double? The triple? The quadra? Wait. Get the penta. You better die for it. Fuck yes, dude. All right, good job, dude. Yeah, that's. A, I see a trend main, dude. Review my game pretty please. I'm a huge fan smiley face thanks in advance senpei. You are the greatest also ash on bible thumb 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 All right, thank you for the $10 deadly rider. But overall, S hunt, I think you did an okay job this game as far as the rotations. You made just one or two mistakes. The biggest thing you need to work on is the laning phase. Like, you made a lot of mistakes using your summoner spells incorrectly in the laning phase. And also, like, your trades and your your game sense was a little bit off. But that's, that's what's gonna come with experience and playing the champion more often.